right, good morning everyone. We are on our morning walk. It hasn't hit 70 degrees yet, so that's a good good thing in the south because it's usually like 80 by now. It's supposed to rain all week, so we're hoping to get a really long walk today and kind of make up for the fact that we're gonna be inside for the rest of the week. Uh, we got home and my bed was delivered. I didn't actually expect it until like July 14th or something and it's still June. So I guess we're gonna assemble that today. I just have baby Mozart on in the background in case you guys are wondering. I got my babies and I gotta go ahead and stuff this thing back in the closet. All right, so I am currently making hard boiled eggs, five of them. I think the kids are gonna try them. I have tried to give Stella a hard boiled egg before, I think, and she didn't like the texture of it. So we'll try again because why not? And I'm sure Fievel's gonna eat it. It's Fievel. And then I'll have the rest of them. I'm trying to do like a fridge clean out challenge before I go grocery shopping again. So we're getting pretty close. It's getting pretty empty in here. I am marinating some salmon in here. It looks pretty gross in the plastic bag. I'm gonna finish the cabbage with the salmon and then some white rice that I have left over from when we ordered food the other night. Am I the only one who has to Google how to hard boil an egg every single time you cook a hard boiled egg? It's just something I never remember. Back when I had a pressure cooker, which by the way, I definitely need to buy again because I love pressure cookers. You just put in the pressure cooker for like three minutes, but actually boiling the eggs, I have to Google it every single time. All right, everybody, we got family breakfast going. five has got his half an egg. He's never actually had eggs before other than like cooked into stuff so that'll be interesting and then Stella's got her hard-boiled egg I have a feeling she's not gonna eat it but just in case um, I want to try it anyway and then she's got her yogurt over here which she definitely wants hey will you try your egg first well dang I ate mine and even five is not touching his hard-boiled eggs do babies just not like hard-boiled eggs you like Cheerios Look, did you see that there is food here? Yeah. <laughs> He's thinking about it. <laughs> you don't like eggs? You didn't even try it. All right, I just put Fievel down for his morning nap, or I guess kind of like a second morning nap because he did sleep while we were on our walk. But I am going to build the bed while I have the time. And Stella is still awake over here and we are watching Little Baby Bum. So yeah, that's what's happening in the background. So I think I actually have to stop now because I've got the general shape of the bed down and unfortunately I have to move this to the bedroom still where Fievel is sleeping and it's getting heavy so I'm gonna have to wait and finish it in the room. All right, Fievel just woke up. I actually made myself a plate of sweet potatoes while they were napping, while well, Stella's still napping and he's just enjoying my last one. If it gets too messy, we are going to move off of the couch. He has been banished from the furniture. I don't mind the rug so much. I've actually found that with like his little baby puffs and foods that kind of dissolve when they get wet, when they kind of like stay in the rug, it's really easy to just scrub it off with a dish brush and some dish soap. So you can't even tell that most of that half of the rug has had melted Cheerios and melted baby snacks. It's like a really nice rug. I like things that I can easily clean. I think if I had a full size washer or dryer, I might be able to even put this rug in the washing machine, but I'm not gonna try that because we don't have one. But anyway, while he's occupied, I'm gonna go ahead and try and see if I can push this bed frame into the bedroom. 
All right, that actually wasn't too bad. I was worried. This bed frame is actually solid wood, like actual wood planks. Instead of like most of the furniture you see these days, which is like uh, plated wood cork and stuff like that, this is like really nice and also pretty affordable. So if you guys are interested, I'll link it down below. It's from Amazon and this is the queen size, but it does come in the other sizes too. All right, there it is all put together and everything. I did put one of the bed bumpers um, that we had before we got the baby gate over here. So that way it's just like a little bit safer. Obviously he's not gonna be left unattended in the bed anymore since you escaped yesterday. The kids are kind of just taking turns taking naps today. I mean, I can't complain. Now I've got some time with Stella over here and I just wanna sit down. Five O is getting his second front tooth and he just wants to crawl under my skin. Like, being in my arms is not enough. He wants to, like, climb into my neck, uh, which is fine. I love the snuggles. It's just I can't get anything else done. I actually had to use the dishwasher for the first time today. Um, in case I didn't mention, I kind of just use it as a drying rack because we don't make that many dishes, it just being me and then the two kids, so. Let's talk about the lamp again. We talked about this yesterday, and a lot of you love it, and I'm so glad because I love it as well. Couple things I did wanna point out. Um, first off, the fact that I cannot lower this lamp, or at least not in an easy way, it's actually hung by a little macrame handle there. It's not hanging from this wire. If I did hang it from this wire, the light bulb would probably come through the little circle thing. I don't know if I can show you, but the light bulb that I'm using for the amber light is kind of thin. Um, so I feel like if I hung it from the wire, it would, you know, break. And then also the handle would be like limp. Uh, because it's not hanging from the handle. I don't know if it makes sense, but basically I can't shorten it But I don't mind how high it is because I do plan on hanging macrame plants still So it's gonna be like a whole tier of different, you know length hanging stuff and then no joke I think about a hundred of you Suggested we get a plant in the corner So I feel like it would be an absolute crime to not put a tall plant in the corner and I have to do some research online and find the best kind of house plant. I do want to get a live one um, to go with my other live plants and it's, you know, good to have live plants in your house. They clean the oxygen and whatnot. So I'm going to do some research and find one that I know I can take care of and one that, you know, needs this amount of light and then we will buy that. But I'm not in a rush to buy anything. I'm not in a rush to buy a fake one. I wanna find like the perfect height. I might go to a local nursery and look around, but that's not gonna be something that I'm gonna be purchasing anytime soon. I also did get an essential oil diffuser. I'm telling myself that this is an investment because like I talked about before, about the Body Works candle is $24 and this whole diffuser from Target was $22 and I got it on sale uh, for like almost half off of that. So I'll link this down below if you guys are interested. I like that it looks like a terracotta plant holder so that way it goes with the other plants. And then um, you just lift it up and put your essential oils and some water in there. And it's very nice. It smells very good in here. I think this next month I'm gonna actually try and do like a no spend because June and May were very expensive moving in, buying furniture and buying things for the apartment and just here and there decorations. And I did budget for that. I did set aside some of the savings that I saved from living with my parents towards home furnishings. And then you guys helped so much with the Target house registry. I was able to buy a lot of furniture a lot quicker than I thought I was going to be able to. So I think for the next upcoming month, we are just going to live and enjoy what we have. And then towards the end of the month, I can start thinking about like things that would make living here a little bit more comfortable. I'm still playing with the idea of getting a TV, but now I'm also kind of thinking maybe I should get a projector and a projector screen because there's such a big open space on this wall. I don't wanna fill it with a massive TV or something that the kids can pull down and crush themselves with. So I thought maybe a projector screen would be a nice alternative and then hang a projector up by this ugly vent in front of it on the ceiling. So I don't know. I feel like a projector might be really cool, but it's not something I'm racing to purchase. So next month, we're not gonna eat out. We're not gonna buy coffee at Starbucks. Even if we're desperate, we're just gonna go buy a can of coffee and we're just going to stick to the budget and then eventually maybe buy something cool like a projector. With all of that being said, I am going to end today's video here because I would like to make my dinner and edit and post this video before 5 wakes up. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.